Welcome back. So now in this video, we will simply connect our app to the Firebase. First, open your browser and right in here, search for Firebase Console. In here, open that first one, Firebase Console. And in here, click on this Get Started. In here we will create a new one so click on this add project now we will give the name to the project I will name this as a iJob clone app there we go now click continue and disable that and create a project so this is going to take some time, just wait for a while. So we are ready to go. So now click on this continue. And right in here you will click on this Android because we are working with the Android, okay? So click on that simply. Now in here first we will simply provide the package name for our project right in here okay so go back to the android studio and right in here open that android and in here we will simply go to the app open that and in here open that build.grader okay in here you will go down so right in here as you guys can see that application ID you will simply copy that okay and you guys can also edit that so in here I will provide my name and you guys can write whatever you want so in here I will copy that and go back to the firebase in here write in the package name you will paste it it's fine now you can give the nickname to your project so i will name this as a ijob just ijob and then register the app simply so now right in here we will download that google services json file click on that now right in here show in folder from here it's right inside my download folder as you guys can see right in here okay now I will simply cut this from here and go back to the Android studio first let me close that build.grader and right in the app right click and then simply paste it okay and there we go with the json file let me show you also in the app there we go okay google services json file so we successfully add the json file let me close that from here now we will go back to the firebase right in here click next now in here we will simply copy that class path okay it's copied now we will simply go to the project to the android studio and right inside the build.gradle on the project level we will add that so let's go and do that so in here open that android and right in here as you guys can see that build.gradle open that right in here right in these dependencies as you guys can see okay and there we simply passed it that class bar so it's fine now close that build or gradle and we will go back to the firebase now in here we will copy that plugin that one copy 
we will add that to the project right in the app module and then the build or trailer so let's go and do that in here open that android go to the app and right inside the app there we go with the build dot gradle okay the app one right inside the app so simply open that and we will go down down below this dependencies in here we will paste it the plugin so that's fine now we will save all and go back to the firebase we are done here now click next in here continue to console you will go towards the authentication in here get started click on that and right in here we will enable that email password so in here enable and then click sub so you guys can see the result right in here it's enabled now you will go towards the database firestore click on that you will also set that database in here click on that create database and in here we will go with the start and test mode okay and then simply click on this next in here enable so this is gonna create our database in which we will upload our data right in the future so there we go now we will simply go towards the rules and we will update the rules in here we will simply remove that line of code and we will set that to true so then we will able to use the database and it's going to be accessible so set this to true and then click on this publish so the rule has been updated successfully now we will go towards the storage now we will update the rules also right in here so then we will be able to use it and right in the future we will upload some kind of images right in the storage so in here click on these rules and go towards that and set this to true there we go now simply publish The rule has been updated successfully so that's fine so we are done with the firebase and we successfully add our app to the firebase project setting there we go okay I job so all good now we will go back towards the android studio and that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further right from here